It's Friday again. It's the Tri Series Finals. What? It's Friday again. It's the Tri Series Finals. Du, 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 du. Sorry. Sorry to put you through that, everyone. Welcome back on my time. This is Top Drives. And today's video is going to focus along, along sorry, the Gumpert R Finals. But before we come to that, I am going to quickly go into the weekly challenge. I have been farming the final node up until now. For those of you who are still interested, it is Aston Martin times five. You can purchase Aston Martin carbon, carbon fibers as well, $15.99 in terms of gold. For me, I'm avoiding them because I have quite a few Aston Martins and I've got enough for this event. So for now, I'm not going to spend my gold on those packs. But just to show you the hand that I have been using to farm, in case you were wondering, I have been using this here. Now, you can use, if you're getting towards the end of the challenge and you're not sure if you can be able to complete it, you can use any maxed out ultra rare Aston Martin within reason, including the Bulldog, and even, I think, I think a couple of the super rares, like the, the V8, which one is it? The V8 something or another might help you in the drag. Yeah, the V8 Vantage potentially i think can help you as well in a quarter mile if you need it so what i've done is i've thrown the signet on the half mile because this is potentially the track where i'm going to win the most points if i put one of my maxed out cars the rest of these twisty circuits it is going to be extremely close regardless so it doesn't matter which one i put in here i'm only going to win by about 60 70 points and by making sure i put the signet on the last track which loses i'm going to make sure i get my two stars as we can see here uh, would be about 231 points. I've still got a, another 80 or points to the good that I could lose by. So for a lot of you, hopefully you should be able to farm the final pretty easy. Now what I'm going to do is also finish it off and get that ceramic pack. So just for the sake of it, it doesn't actually really matter what I put in, does it? Oh, it, yes it does. Sorry, it does because of RQ. There we go. Now, for me, this is just going to be a quick, easy win. Put them in, not really too bothered. The finals, well, what is my interpretation in it? While I'm just collecting these prizes, I would say it seems like you need to have a couple of cars in order to excel. And I will go to that in just a moment. Let's collect these cars and see if we get anything decent from the ceramic pack, will we? Okay, Bentley Continental are pretty underwhelming, but no problems. That is done. We will take the free prizes, and at least I don't have to worry about the weekly challenge for the rest of the day. Got it. Sorted. Lovely. Now, if we come and we have a look at all cards very quickly in the filters, you can come, you can click on country to make sure you're looking at just the USA cards. You can scroll down to collection and tags, pick out concept, and again, get rid of those non prize cars. What you can use is going to be come up in your garage now for me i do have four maxed out epics but are they going to be good enough well if we click on all cars here we've got we scroll through and see i can tell you now the track sets do not take advantage of any off should i say off-road kind of tires so the bronco the power box the m80 all these kind of cars aren't going to be too useful now there is some rain every single track set i have seen has at least well they have two should i say two rain circuits so some form of four will drive all standard tires which would make you believe that the cadillac 16 would be extremely useful um it is going to be helpful but however it looks like from what i can see the ford gt90 is going to be key because there are drag circuits as well and i think having this car in your garage is going to help you massively i have heard i haven't seen it myself yet but i've heard the acura dnx is not particularly useful because it will get beaten by the maxed out mirai now that will depend obviously how many upgrades you do put into your dnx if you max it out as well but for a lot of people i'm assuming they haven't maxed it out as we scroll down it's then going to mean that the chevrolet mirai is going to be extremely extremely key for those wet circuits and having multiple ones of those is probably going to help you quite a bit and there will be some drags as well other cars people looking for the challenger possibly or even better the mustang or the juiced or the viper gtsr concept to help you in between if you haven't got these legendaries but it does look like unless you've got a couple of maybe something like the gto and the 16 along with a mirai you're probably going to be able to do it otherwise probably going to fall short so for me it i'm be honest with you i think i'm going to fall short i am going to try my luck on the packs there's only 
two cars I really want the Ford GT90 or a second Mirai now it's going to be important I open these packs as early as possible to give myself the best opportunity of maxing any cars if I do get them and actually using them in the event to push into the top potentially the top 10 but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just see how my team fares to begin with now without actually playing the track sets I'm not 100% sure if I'm better to bring in the the Chevrolet for the drag or from best off to max out the Dodge concept and put that in or from better to throw in one of my twisty cars for now and see what happens I mean I'm going to try the Venom just because I don't really know if the air of it is going to be useful not I expect to lose with the Venom but let's just see so I'm going to play the first person just to get me on the board now Karting fast two drags. Okay. Well, I feel that for my hand, I'm gonna have to drag with the Cadillac most of the time. I've got options with for here I can put the Venom. I'm not I'm only running one kind of car here for wet surface. So maybe I, I definitely definitely gonna need possibly the Cadillac 16. Or the Mirai, I think, to give myself that second car that is going to be suited or better suited for the wet surfaces. I don't think it's going to be enough, to be honest with you, to run only one. Uh, I, I, and I don't really have anything else that's particularly good, even though rank. I can come and bring in the air flight. That's it. And I'm pretty sure that's not going to help me. So we will come. Oh, this next person we can do. I can say we'll go as high as we can. We can see the air vet being used here. Now I'm definitely considering doing this. Definitely, definitely, definitely considering putting my air vet in here, using it on the drag part of it, especially if there's a drag in everything. So for this kind of event, it would have worked here. That would be my air vet. I would have put the Mirai then on the G Force, which would be a win. Twisty and Forest Road could run however. Now obviously I do appreciate that these people don't have the required cars to finish in the top 10. So this isn't a true reflection on how well my team is going to hold up. I just want to try and get myself as high up in the rankings as I can to see, just to see what kind of cars I'm coming up against. Now, if I am extremely lucky, I might get away with only needing one more kind of car. Um, I definitely feel probably the Aerovet is going to be better. Uh, maybe, maybe the Challenger concept would help because it would help me on the twistiness better than the air of it i'm gonna i am gonna actually just max this out three two three and i'm doing it just because i'm waiting to see waiting to see what the tracks is like and what other people are having this could be a better acquisition overall rather than air vet. so the air vet is pretty much just going in for drags okay so we've seen someone here using challenger concepts which is interesting one for drag version oh no yeah okay yeah i think i think this is going to come in when it's maxed out but let's go as high as we can see what we come up against so alessandro right fast circuit i have my mirai at two three at three two three okay some people do have it at two three Three. I would probably build one of each if I were to get a second one. Uh, for the moment, though, it looks like this is what I do here. I definitely, definitely think having a three-two-three one of it is better. I've heard, I've heard that the three-two-three will beat the two-three-three. I think it's on the fast circuit one. So if you do have a two-three-three Mirai, you are going to lose out there. So for some people, that will be. A 350 points they're doing the matchup right let's come to the next one let's go as high as we can we are seeing people now using effort maybe 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 that is where i what i could do it maybe that's a short term i don't think i don't to be honest, i don't think it's good enough i don't think the air flight is good enough to make it worthwhile because if we put the you know what i'm gonna test it i'm gonna test it I'm going to test it with the Dodge M4S, and Dodge M4S should win that pretty easy. Um, just for the sake of this round, we're going to go and watch these matchups again. At this moment in time, because I've not seen anyone with a GT90, etc., it, it's making it look like 
I have a chance. But I, I know for a fact people with those cars are automatically already going to be up towards the top 10. Because that car is going to be unbeatable in the drags. Simple as. You're guaranteeing yourself a victory. Having that in the Mirai, you're guaranteeing yourself some victories. And that's what's key in events like this. You want to make sure that you can go to one or two of the track sets and be like, right, I'm going to win those. Because it makes it more... It makes you appear more threatening to other people so they're less likely to challenge you and it also so we are going to lose this it also gives you those few points so it might actually be worthwhile bringing in the air flight instead um but then i'm going to have the issue of if it's a wet drag i really really don't want to use the air flight do i okay i think i'll keep it as it is for now let's go as high as we can I have absolutely no idea where Christian is in the rankings, but I can win. I can tie. I can lose. I can lose and I can lose. So I think we have kind of seen the standard where you're gonna to need to be to give yourself an opportunity of top 10. I'm nowhere near that. Again, here, I would have a chance. Um, it's the same version as mine. Uh, chance. This is still a loss, especially my current team. But when I max out this, it will be closer. This is a potential winner. Potential. I haven't looked at it quite properly, but... That's we would take the ties there and we take the tie here, meaning we can win on the twisty row because Sidewinder is not maxed out and he hasn't maxed out that. Um, I don't actually know what it is Chrysler, I'm assuming. Okay, we can skip this. This was a victory, but there you go. I've already seen, and where am I going to be now? I have just about made it into the top 10 at the moment and I will 100% not. Be staying here not with this lineup anyway so the question is is it worth me coming out and opening packs to be honest with you I'd say no I reckon I'm probably I'm a good two car short potentially even three car short of making making it um, but I mean realistically I'm not gonna probably get what I need uh, I didn't put US concepts in, which is a bit of a bit of a mess up there. But yeah, mm, realistically, these three. Well, I probably keep one Dodge M4S, two Mirais, a GT90 or something, and then fill out the other one, even with a second M4S or, or whatever. So I'd probably say two cars, two two good cars will give me a chance. If they're not legendary, then I would need something like the Ford concept or the Dodge Juice just to give me... Um, I need to have a good epic to go to Mirai, but I definitely think a second Mirai gives me a chance of maybe getting 10th. And the GT90 would hopefully possibly propel me into around 8th, something like that. Okay, we will try. We will try two packs and see how we do. We just want the Ford GT90 and the Mirai. That's it. Not much to ask for, is it? Two specific cars. Two cars which you're not guaranteed to get in the pack. That's what we're after. So first of all, the Charger. No, but we are going to get the... Oh, the Chrysler Phaeton. Okay. Okay, that was not good. That was not good. We will do a second one. We will try again. I feel if I get one of those two cars now, it will, it will tempt into a third pack. If I don't, then I think I may just design myself to being on the fringes and just trying to get a top 40 place and taking the uh, taking the ceramic uh, um sorry the carbon fiber pack so the issue about me opening more of these is that there's not really too many other cars in here that i even want there's only a couple of, we'll do one more we'll do one more. it's a finals i said i was going to try and do better try and get a price car last pack definitely not putting any more on it yeah i might just have to take the carbon fiber pack to be honest with you and the epic and 
do it that way. I think that's the way it's going because we don't look like we're going to get the required luck. I'd have to say three extremely bad carbon fibers, especially for this event. And I've heard a lot of people not getting particularly lucky with these carbon fiber packs. Now, I'm in that boat. That's me done. That's me just going to be sitting in the gumper with the team you've already seen, possibly changing out the air of it for the concept. I will work around with that. But that's me. No more resources need to be invested. We're just going to see where we end up. Let me know in the comment section below how you guys think you are going to do. Can you get the top 10? Can you get the car? Because it is going to be an extremely, extremely good car for tracks, um, twisties, etc. Even though it doesn't have an amazing top speed. Don't be fooled, it's extremely light. So it would be a car I'd love to add to the garage, but realistically, it looks like it's going to elude me. Anyway, I've been my time. Thank you very much as ever for watching. Good luck in the finals yourself. Please let me know how you're getting on in the comment section below, and I'll see you all soon.